set. Monlikova leading 3-1. Monlikova winning the second set after Martina took the opener. And now is up a break. Martina Navratilova serving. Monlikova in the far... Uh, Monlikova in the near court. And Navratilova in the far court. Martina's problem. Short balls. She's really not hitting through the ball as we've expected her to do. <laughs> and this is what surprised me, Joanne Russell, the control that Monlikova has suddenly demonstrated on her forehand. Yes, and Hanna has taken control of the return, which is a key in beating Martina. Basically, Martina walks up to the line and wins her serve almost every time, and now Hanna's challenging her. Big point, this 15-30 point. Down a break. Out. Ball out. The ball is out. Oh, wait a minute. There you go. Bob Wiley, the baseline's been a signal good. Oh, and Richard Kaufman, the umpire, has overruled. I think Martina thought it was in. Well, that ball was too close to overrule on. I saw the ball. I'm overruling. It's overruling. Can you believe that, Joanne, and the ball that was, if not on the line, so close? Yes, uh, you know, you hope that everything works out for the best, but signal. you can't, oh, you've oh, got to let the umpire and call it. Back and I agreed with oh, okay. his original signal. Von would be up 1540 and said it's 30 all. A tough call. Boy, that would have been double breaker. <laughs> Martina trailing 1-3 in this third set. 30 all. Sensational stuff. Going back to that line call, bud, that would have been 15-40, and then Monlika with a point before one this one would point. have had the game for one lead. You can never quite speculate that way, but she did indeed win the next point. Oh! And Martina was saved for an instant anyway. Martina is down a break. Trying to hang on tenaciously to her serve. Threatened certainly by Manlikova. <laughs> the game to Martina. This crowd in total agreement. What a sensational match. And it's now Hanna Monlikova leading 3-2 in this deciding set. And we've received word that Monlikova received a warning from umpire Richard Kaufman between games. She called him an SOB. And the crowd sympathized with her because he just was overreacting there to overrule a ball so close to the line. Love 15. No fine involved. Oh! The shot making has been brilliant. 15 all. 
Do you think Hannah will be put off by this clash with the umpire, Joanne? She shouldn't be. Oh, ace. Maybe it'll fire her up a little bit. Either it, either you miss the next couple of balls, you lose a game, you get out of the match, or you get fired up and you're right into it. Well, that was her third ace. Likova, the only woman to beat Martina Navratilova in 1984 in the championships at Oakland in January. <laughs> well, you saw the action on that serve, so Manlikova holds and takes a 4-2 lead. What a match. This crowd applauds. Let's go now down to Joanne Russell with Mike Estep. Mike. What do you think Martina has to do here to get back into the match? Play a little care more carefully. She's uh, making a little too many uh, errors on unforced errors, and she's got to cut down her unforced errors. Cut down on the unforced errors. Martina serving 2-4. That was a tough chance. Well, this crowd, Bud Collins came to see Martina and Chris Everett Lloyd in the finals tomorrow. And Manlika was trying to spoil the fun. Spoil sport from Prague, Czechoslovakia. Interesting that both of these women growing up on clay in Czechoslovakia, and neither one likes particularly to play on it. They both love to attack, and that's all they've done throughout this exciting tussle this afternoon. Oh. 15, 30. Oh. 30 oh. Martina must have gulped at that when she was helpless at the net. Passing winner for Monlekova, and it's break point. Martina serving 2 4 in this third set. Wow. I hope fans realize how hard it is to hit a winning volley on clay. Watch that. That ball just goes away so fast. And with that angle. Martina read the scenario following the drop to the net. She moves so well. Her foot speed is totally underrated. Fourth ace for Navratilova. It'll be Monlikova 4-3 serving when we return. Mike Estep, I was sitting next to him for a while. And Martina doesn't look to him for coaching because in that instance, you can't really send a signal out with a plan. He just sits there and says, come on, let's go, be tough. And that's nice because you look to the corner and you think there's one guy rooting for me, and that's Mike Estep. And that really helped her because she looked over there a few times and she really got tough. She dug in and she broke back. If memory serves me correctly, the second point of this next game on Leak of a Serving 4-3 will be the turning point of the match and Martina will rally to win 6-4. Let's go back to that third and deciding set semifinals yesterday. Anna Manlikova 
up a break for three in this deciding set. You heard Martina. That's great. It was indeed an outstanding Martina, uh, shot. Wonderful shot, but Martina really didn't do anything with her approach. the shot of the season. This one isn't bad, but watch this. Count the steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight yard dash. Boy, for eight yards, who can beat her? 15 all. Well, let's mark that point. Tina, she wants to get in the finals. Chris has already won. Very well. That hurts. Not to put the ball in play. Now Martina rips it, but Hanna with the reflex. That was such a difficult volley, too, because Martina hit her hardest forehand at Hanna. First serve. The runaround forehand. Martina battles back to Deuce. Oh. Wow, Martina finally getting depth on her approach shot. That was the key to points she'd lost earlier. They just were too short. Depth is the key on clay. Get it deep and cover the net. A oh, break point for Martina. And she has broken back to square this third set at four all. Now Mike Estep with his wife, Barbara Hunter Estep, sportscaster herself and they're much happier because Martina was really in the dinger down to four on the opening set six three then and leak of a rally six four and now they're even to four all in the third Love 15. volley on clay set up the see on clay you want to use your first volley to set up your second volley oh. had her going one way and then wrong footed her for the winner oh. a mental battle for Hannah she got 
A bad call from the umpire, which was costly. She's let her lead slide. Um. Can she resurrect herself? Point away from a 5-4 lead. Be the first time she's led in this set. Net cord, 40-30. 40, 40-30. Wow. Oh, ho! For all and deuce. Hannah's facing the toughest serve in women's tennis, and she's returning the serve like it's a piece of cake. <laughs> so, a break point for Monligaba. <laughs> the winner meets Chris Everett Lloyd. Tomorrow, Sunday. Oh. You have to have confidence in your volley to hit that ball and a break point. Yes. Taking all the steam out of Manlikova's shot. One of the few that Navratilova has not been able to hustle down. Break point again for Monlikova. When she needed it, the hook. It's always nice when you have a big serve in your back pocket. Just pull it up for the break point and use it. On Lake of a 22, there's a ball girl at one of Navratilova's key matches in their native Czechoslovakia. First serve. Looks like Rod Laver on that with that running forehand. Right on the line, from outside in. Oh, she fought back to advantage. Game to Navratilova. She leads 5-4. Martinez taking the court, and now the hand for Hanna Monlikova. Monlikova serving to stay in the match. Her percentage still under 50% for Monlikova. That may cost her the match. I think if Martina does win it, serving will be the difference. Ow! Just out. Because Martina's been serving over 70%.
soon. That's the shot she started working on with Mike Estep, the top spin backhand. She never had that. 15-30, two points away from victory. Second double fall for Monlikova, and it's double match point for Martina Navratilova. First serve after first serve missed. That could be the story. Martina. She has survived, rallying from 2-4 to win the final set, 6-4.